welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I wanted to do an update video today because I haven't done one in a while. I wanted to kind of update on my progress with not smoking weed and how that's been going um, and kind of give you an update about how I've been feeling and how things have started to go. And hopefully this will help some other people and a bit more insight again until like a why I gave up weed. So if you are interested to hear more, then keep listening. So I think it's been, because I honestly have lost track of time. I think it's been four weeks this evening since I've given up weed, which to me is insane. Cause I can promise you, I never thought I would see the day where I stopped smoking because like I said, I love smoking. Um, and I wanted to talk a bit honestly about how it's been. Now, like I said, I've been very lucky that I have had some support in this journey. I think I would struggle a lot more if I didn't have that. So I am very, very blessed to have had some support um, on me doing that because I think it is really really important to have a support network around you when you're trying to get rid of like an addiction because when you are having times where you're really struggling it is good to have somebody you can kind of lean on that can give you some moral support so I think that's probably one of the major things that's really helped me being able to do this if I'm being honest and to be fair all glory to God because if it wasn't for God I would not be doing this and I honestly think like if you really do pray for the strength and pray for God to get you through this. It really does make a massive difference or God will provide you. Like I've always said, I thank the people, but it's God that gave me those people to get through that, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm so grateful for that because I never thought this day would happen. Um, my sleep was really bad, probably for like a couple of weeks. Like it's definitely better now, but I don't know that's because sometimes I'm doing more and I'm just naturally tired. There are still the odd nights where I kind of struggle to sleep a little bit, but I have to say it is definitely better four weeks in. Um, I still do get cravings, um, you know, and I honestly do think a massive part of addiction is demonic influence. I really do believe that. And I still do get a lot of cravings um, in terms of like, there's some times where I've had a long day because what I would like to do is like have a really long day at work and then come home and I'd really look forward to like smoking a zoot. Like that was kind of like my reward kind of thing when I got home and it's just something that I would look forward to after work. Especially when you've just had like a really long day and like you just want to get home and you just want to chill. And I used to just love, like I was bad, I would smoke in bed all the time. So I just love to like sit and watch something and like smoke in bed. And I have to say, I do still miss that. Um, there are still glimpses where like, I'll think about it and then I'll realize I can't do it and then it'll make me feel a little bit annoyed for a second. Uh, and again, that's probably to some degree or to a big degree, I think that's like demonic forces. I think that has a massive influence because like I said, with your thoughts, there's some thoughts that obviously can come from sort of yourself. There's some thoughts that are of God and then there's some thoughts that are that are of the devil. And I definitely think that those kind of thoughts are definitely of the devil. I do kind of get them moments where like, I crave it and then get a bit annoyed that I can't have it, um, you know? And I think you kind of get them moments of like rebellion and defiance, like, oh, this is all long, like I just want to go back to smoking. Like, you know, cause when I gave my life to Christ, like you do have to make a lot of changes. It's not one of them things where you can say like, and I wish it was, <laughs> but you can say like, oh, I believe in Christ. I want to give my life to Christ. But then you still continue to do the same things in your life. Like I'm going to do another video about a lot of the things that I've had to change and how that journey was as, as a whole, because I do believe that, you know, you do have to make certain changes because like I said, if you do want to live by God's law and you, you do obviously want to get into the kingdom when you pass, because we know that obviously our physical flesh is only one part of this. We do continue after in terms of our spirit, our soul. Um, and I, and I just think like it, it's hard, but you do have to make the effort to make those changes. And that was the main reason I gave up weed, to be honest. And obviously it is not good for you. A lot of the stuff over here is GMO regardless anyway. And even if you can get nat natural stuff, it doesn't mean that you're supposed to smoke it. I used to defend this all the time. And I hear it in some people when they're saying things, when I put a video out, I used to say the exact same things. Oh, but it's natural. Oh, but it's God given. So it's okay. But that's like, like I've said in my other videos, that's like saying, well, a poppy seed's God given, but we're not supposed to use that to make heroin and take that you know and i know that sounds like an extreme comparison but you are opening yourself up to this anything that's altering your mind and like i said it says multiple times in the bible that we have to have a sober mind particularly to protect ourselves from the enemy when you're high 
you do not have a sober mind you are you are channeling spirits you are opening yourself up to that kind of stuff because it is mind altering you know it's not the same way as taking like lsd or anything like that it's still mind altering and that's something that we really need to bear in mind so i knew that it wasn't good for those reasons and and as, as well obviously because i had an addiction that was a whole nother thing as well on top of it but even without the addiction we're not supposed to smoke that stuff just because something grows does not mean you can put it in a rizzler and smoke it sadly so yeah that was one of the things that i really had to come to terms with and i used to i used to use that argument and i understand it because i used to use that argument all the time oh but it's god-given plants and we must we must have to get high but it's like there's many god-given plants that we really should be using for certain things so i think i think a lot of the time it's man's interpretation because they want to justify what they're doing or because they enjoy doing what they're doing or maybe some people generally are just very deceived with it and like I said, I'm not out here judging what people are doing. I'm just giving my account of why I've given up and my account on. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of discussing the concept rather than judging people. But for me, it's like I used to make that excuse all the time. And since I came to Christ, I just realized how pants that excuse really was. Um, and there's many things here that are put on this earth that we're not supposed to ingest or smoke or whatever else. So I think that was made quite clear in the Bible when it says, keep your mind sober. Another scripture a lot of people would bring up is when Jesus um, made uh, water into wine. But like I said, there's nothing wrong with having like a sip of wine or <laughs> like a small glass of alcohol or whatever. It's the fact that you're not going to get drunk. Now, it's very hard to smoke weed and not get high. You know, but you could have, depending on what your levels are or whatever, because everyone's different. But, you know, I could easily have, I mean, I don't personally drink just because I'm not a fan of it anyway, just from my own personal views. But, you know, you could easily just have half a glass of wine. That wouldn't alter your mind. You'd still be sober. There's nothing wrong with that. Like they sip a bit of wine at communion. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's like when you're getting, when you're drinking to get drunk or tipsy or when it's altering your mind in any kind of state, that's when it becomes a problem. Um, and I've heard people use that scripture as kind of another backing to say that we should smoke weed. And again, I really don't agree with that. Um, and yeah, nowhere in, in the Bible does it tell us to burn certain herbs, in, you know, and ingest them into our lungs or whatever. So again, just because certain people may have done it in the past doesn't mean it's good. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't think that there's anything wrong as such with taking like the CBD oils that don't have like the THC in it. And something really interesting that one of my patients told me he was actually an, uh, an expert in CBD actually said to get THG to have the mind altering effects and to get you high actually has to be heated. So again, you're having to actually do something to the plant to make it induce that high. That's not natural. If it was natural, that wouldn't be happening. That's not natural. And even so, even if you could just take it and, and you didn't have to do something to it to get you high. It's, it still says to keep your mind sober regardless. But, you know, that was something that I actually didn't know. So I, I, I was like, oh, how did I not know that? That's interesting fact. But, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with taking like the CBD oil when it doesn't have the mind altering stuff in it. I do think it can have some benefits. But like I've always said, like God can heal. So why are we always looking to everything but God to heal us, to heal us? Sorry. That's what kind of baffled my mind and what I was thinking before, because I'm going to anything else that I can and even out God fully knowing that God can heal fully knowing that Jesus did miracles but yeah I'm going to everything else that I can to get that you know and it's the same way when people say oh but I've used certain mind altering drugs like uh, microdosing LSD and stuff like that to help with depression you know but you can get that from God but a thousand times better so it, it that that argument to me makes no sense there are a million ways of course that you can get or you can help yourself with certain conditions but it's picking the right one just because one helps doesn't mean that something else won't do better and again that's kind of like what we say with the medical with the sort of pharmaceutical or medical industry you know God can heal we don't need all these kind of things and there's been many evidence of this happening so I just think a lot of the time it's people just getting used to things or not wanting to believe that God can do that for you um, I've never needed anything like that. Like I said, I suffered from my own personal story. I suffered from quite bad depression, particularly when I was in my last job. And I suffered from, and I'm not saying I'm 100% perfect yet because I'm very new in my walk. But as soon as I came to Christ, I can promise you a lot of that depression went. And again, you've really got to have that true belief and really have a very good understanding, which that can take a little bit of time. But fear comes from the devil. All these type of feelings that make us feel not worthy and make us feel depressed. A lot of that is demonic influence. And I think a lot of the time, science covers up the demonic world and the effect that it has on our body. And I'm going to do another video about this when it comes to our health, because there's a lot I think they're hiding that's actually down to, I'm not saying everything is demonic, but a large amount of stuff is. And the fact 
fact that this is a fight between good and bad, why would it not be? <laughs> so it makes sense. But they really are trying to attack us from every angle and they use the spiritual world to do that. Like I said, if you're somebody that believes in the satanic rituals and what's going on with the children and all that, then understand that they're using a spiritual aspect to get to you. And they're doing that exact same thing with your health. Um, and I've seen this been proved many, many a times with people. So... I just think that's something really important to bear in mind. But I have to say now it's been four weeks. It's definitely got easier. I think the first week is by far the hardest. For me, the hardest thing was the insomnia and the crippling anxiety that came with that as well. Like you do get a lot of anxiety when you come off weed. And like I said, I was vomiting for the first week. I haven't vomited in a, a good few weeks now, which is amazing. I don't wake up with this. Like I said, I get little drips of it sometimes in certain scenarios, but I do not wake up with this crippling anxiety anymore. Um, like I said, I'm sleeping a little bit, but I don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's perfect. There's still some things that I still crave a little bit. You know, there's still a few things where I kind of think oh I really want to smoke like in this instance but it's not that often and like I said I think maybe the more the months go by the more that will go I have started to dream as I think I said in my first video that I wasn't really dreaming before so I have started to dream a little bit now um but yeah I mean some of them have just been like pretty much because I think I've said before that there's like three types of dreams demonic your subconscious because that is actually proved scientifically or a dream from God um and I think uh, my dreams at the start were definitely more my subconscious that's for sure although I had a dream last night that I think may have not been um but most of them have been I'm pretty sure from my subconscious but yeah it's, it's been interesting because I'm not used to dreaming and I just find it a bit weird like it actually makes me feel a bit like bewildered when I wake up but I think it's just because like I said I'm really not used to it so like when I wake up sometimes it can make me feel a bit like confused or a little bit I can't describe it but it's just I'm not used to dreaming so it's just a bit weird to me or if I did dream before I certainly didn't have any recollection of it so it's just weird to me when it starts coming back it's sometimes a bit weird to me in the morning but I think again that's just something I've got to get used to um but yeah I, it's been it's been a journey but I promise I feel so much better like my mind used to feel clouded like all the time when I was smoking weed and I just felt very like lethargic a lot of the time I feel like I get a lot more stuff done now I don't smoke weed and I also feel like my mind is a lot clearer I think th the problem is when you first give up weed because of the insomnia it's very hard to see the benefits but the more you start to go along the more I can definitely feel my mind kind of like declouding. I used to feel like there was like this mist in my brain and there probably was <laughs> mist of weed but yeah that that seems to be kind of clearing a little bit now um and obviously like my cardio feels a lot better for it because I'm not smoking all the time um yellow that still needs some work but yeah I, I definitely feel a lot better for it it's definitely done my, ba my bank balance and favors as well so it's quite nice I think I thought to myself the other day if I could add up all the money I've spent on weed over the time over the years sorry I dread to think how much I would have spent. I really do. Like I could have bought something amazing with that money or helped someone with that or done something useful. I just feel like I, I washed a lot of it down the drain. And like I said, I actually got in debt for it at one point as well. Um, particularly like when I wasn't working during the start of lockdown and it was just very, very unhealthy. And I know some people have healthier relationships with it than what I did, but either way, I don't think it's good whether you're severely addicted or not. Well, I don't think we're supposed to use all these mind over in drugs and I'm I'm going to 100 million percent stick by that. I definitely think it opens you up to the demonic world, whether it be the LSD, the mushrooms, the weed. I think it's all pretty much the same, although some probably a little bit more worse than others. But I, I really, truly believe that we're not supposed to be doing those kind of things. Um, but yeah, so it was just very strange to me. But like I said, I feel a lot better for it. So I really encourage anybody else who is trying to give up weed fight through it just know a lot of the stuff that you're getting especially with the thoughts a lot of it is demonic influence and my thing is always like i do not want the devil to win so i'm really trying to like battle against that because i don't want the devil to have something over me i don't want him to have any type of cl class 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 i don't even know any type of whatever on my life any type of hold um so to me, it's one of them things that you really do have to fight within yourself. But like I said, having a support system around you is very, very important. Um, but yeah, I just really encourage anyone else that is trying to give up any type of addiction. Um, and yeah, that's kind of my account of how I've been feeling. So I think hopefully for now, it will probably be plain sailing. I have to say, I did still use the vape on and off a few times. So that's now, now I'm kind of getting over the severe symptoms. The vape needs to go. Like I said, my vape is not nicotine based it's got nothing in it but that's not the point it's still not good so yeah i don't use it that often because mostly i'm not really a fan of vaping personally but that need a go now that need a go so yeah i think sometimes it's more like a comfort blanket you know but i'm gonna stop using that because god is my comfort 
I don't need that thing. So yeah, that's the next thing that I'm gonna kind of clear out and chuck away. So yeah, I think in another week or so, another couple of weeks, I'll probably be there in terms of most of the symptoms and a lot of the cravings gone. I just want that last little bit to go. And I keep praying, honestly, people, the most important thing is to, especially if you're not, feel like you wanna do it, but maybe you're not quite ready, honestly, pray for God, pray for God, pray to God to bring, Pray to God for strength. Pray pray to God, whether it be support that you feel like you need, pray to God for that. Because I, I remember, like I said, a week before um, I gave up weed, I prayed to God hard and I was like, God, I, need, I know I need to give this up. I know this isn't good. I wanna give my life to you. I said, please send me. And I specifically asked for people. I said, please send me some type of somebody in Christ. No, I didn't just want some any drug counselor. I wanted someone with a spiritual aspect. I was like, please send me somebody like a mentor or like a friend or somebody that's going to help me get through this. Literally a week later, I got hooked up with someone or a couple of people that helped me. Sorry. One million percent that was God given. So your prayers will be answered. Everyone's timing is going to be different. It doesn't mean everyone's going to be answered in like a few days. Obviously, people's timings are different. And I do believe sometimes we have to go through certain things. So God has to strengthen us and take us through certain things so that we can actually give perspective and do what we need to do later on and i do believe in that but yeah i'd really say to people pray for that because it makes a world of difference i really would say to people just pray and your prayers will be answered but yeah i hope you enjoyed that video guys um like i said i don't ever see myself going back to smoking now i feel a lot better for it and um yeah i'm just going to continue to try and do better because there's still always things to work on but yeah i hope you enjoyed that video guys and i will look forward to seeing you in my next youtube video